Welcome back everybody. Uh, tonight I'm going to show you one of my old layouts, uh, which I've uh, dug out of storage. Uh, this is uh, my N-Scale shelf layout. So this layout I built while I was still living at home, uh, while I was going to university. Um, this was my first kind of semi-permanent N-scale layout. Uh, as you can see, it was designed as a shelf layout. Uh, it was based off of a track plan out of this book here, with the track plans by uh, John, Arm John H. Armstrong. Uh, and it's called the Southside Connection. Uh, the original layout was 16 inches by 20 feet in HO as a little switching layout. Um, I compressed it down to one foot by eight feet long in N scale. So, um, cause N scale is roughly half the size. Um, it's, it's roughly an equal compression. It's a little wider. One of the things I did change is I added what I call the man line here, um, which if used, could use, be used to cheat the switching puzzle a little bit, but I was mainly so I could possibly integrate this into a larger layout at some point. I know this has been done lots of time, but just for a point of comparison, that is my HO scale GP9, uh, and in front there is the my N scale, and that's also GP9. So you can see it's it's roughly uh, half the size, um, 164th to end uh, for N scale and 187th for, for HO. So a few differences, especially compared to my HO layout that you can probably see. Um, one, uh, the keen-eyed observer will see that this is um, uh, CP, rolling stock and equipment. Um, I thought that uh, since I had CN in HO that I would uh, change it up in N and focus more on uh, Canada's other major railroad CP. Uh, I also have always really liked the uh, the gray and uh, maroon paint scheme. A plus to uh, CP for bringing out some heritage units recently by the way. So this is also of course a switching layout. Uh, there's no real run around main line or anything like that. Uh, and this one is also uh, DC, not DCC. Uh, I actually have two, two tech, two controllers so that I can actually run this uh, dual cab. Um, or at least that was the original intent. Uh, it has um, fared relatively well for a trip across the country, but there are definitely some problems with the wiring. Uh, it looks like when I originally wired it, I actually wired some of the toggles for the polarity on the switch, uh, the switch frogs backwards. So that makes it a little entertaining to operate. Um, and uh, there seems to be, from having a look at it and trying to get it up and running here, uh, that there's a lot of ballast and stuff in the web of the rails, which had to have been done when I originally made it. That's not something that would happen in transit, uh, but it's certainly something I'd never noticed before. So some people might say I did it backwards. Uh, in HO, the larger scale, of course, I like to do mainline, modern, large equipment, long trains. And then in N scale, the, the smaller scale, I picked uh, transition era and uh, switching layout. Uh, it's provided me with some challenges in the past. Uh, it definitely has not run as smoothly as I would hope it would have. Um, but uh, we'll see if I can actually rehab it and get this into a, a functioning layout. 
love to hear any tips from the N scale guys in the comments uh, for bulletproof track work and kind of getting that consistent and smooth running operation uh, that I'm used to in HO. Um, I've never really been able to achieve that in N, but we'll see if I can uh, get this one up and running. So for now, um, let's uh, let me go through and I'm going to actually uh, throw on some backdrops here. As you can see, if I can, I'll reposition the camera later. It's a little bit different color than I actually ended up going with for my HO layout. I'll also throw on the buildings that I have and uh, we'll kind of take a closer look at this. Let's have a look through some of the stuff and see exactly what we've got. Should, I hope, be some of my buildings. Okay, yep. So this one here, modified it from a kit into a background building. Can't remember where we're supposed to go. Probably down at the other end. It's the only place it seems to fit. I think this is one that got picked up used. So it's like a town building and there's no real town streets on this one. Set that aside for now. So I've got this little truck here. This mess of stuff. Let's see, I'm not, uh, that's a uh, Vulcan machining or something like that. It's way too big for this layout. That's one I must have gotten in a lot somewhere along the lines. This little guy, however, which is missing one of the platforms, but we'll have to get that fixed up. A little dust here with my trusty paintbrush. Ooh, dusty. That one goes right over here. If you can't really see, I'll show, I'll show you later. Pulled out one of my backdrop pieces as well. Set this off to the side. I don't think there's <laughs> lots of other little bits and pieces. A pair of a trailer. Definitely use that somewhere. It's like some fence and some other stuff. Some of that might even be usable in HO scale. Got this. Okay, yep. So this is the other half of the building. So this was the mill. And I took one kit and split it into two. And then the backdrop buildings. Uh, yeah, it definitely looks like some of this stuff needs a little repair after a cross country trip and a few years in storage. that on the way up down here as well. Next we've got a box of the rolling stock. Better move this truck someplace safer. Let's see. Huh. So I think it was actually this one I'd originally bought. I was going to convert this into a uh, 
mine engine for the uh, London Model Railroad Club when I was a member there. Uh, do like a little mine scene. Uh, but that never happened. That as well. That might have also been part of the plan for that one. I can't remember. There's one of my others. SW of some description. I don't remember exactly what. That one I don't remember. That one might have just come in a lot. Looks really grungy. Probably older. Still got the older, oops, older style couplers. Missing a few parts. So, this one here, I actually found on eBay. So it's not a running model, but it is perfectly unscaled. It's a little display model of an LRC. It's not bad, I'm sure it's pales in comparison to anything Rapido's doing, but I just thought it was cool and it was exactly unscaled. So for a non-running model, have a little fun piece to have. Tank cars. Another, that's a nice little box car. Non operating doors, but that's uh, not anything to write home about. So, this was actually my first N scale set. And some of these cars, I think this was part of it. And maybe one of the tank cars? I don't actually remember. But it was a Chessie system set. There was a new hobby shop opened up in one of the malls. Just a little one. And they had this set. I want to say it was like a hundred bucks. Um, which wasn't that bad even even by, by my standards at the time. Uh, having a paper route. So I saved my money and uh, purchased it. I already had N or HO scale at that point. So N scale was my uh, second scale. Oh yeah, that came with it as well. Um... It was just such a, a, a fun um, fun size that uh, I, I couldn't pass up a, a decent price like that. Last I tried, I think this thing still runs pretty good. Looks like it's collected a bunch of hair and stuff, but these were Bachman, I believe. Yeah, I don't know if it'll show up on camera or not, but it says Bachman there under the Chessie logo. Well, set out some more of this rolling stock anyway. Some of these obviously need a little repair. I'm not sure if I got these uh, when I got these, but yeah, that one needs some couplers. That one's good to go. Okay, so I've got all my buildings on the layout as best as I can remember where they were supposed to go. That is a challenge. I don't actually remember where I intended all of them to go. Um, but taking them all out, put them on here for now anyway. Gonna have to do some figuring out. Uh, yeah, so let's have a look. It's not bad. You can see a good shot here of the control panel. So as I said, this is a DC layout, not DCC. So it's got your traditional blocks set up with the, where's my finger? These ledges here so that it can actually hold two of the Tech 2 controllers, which I do have. I use them for both N scale and HO interchangeably. So down at the end here, got my much beaten up little crane there. Uh, so, all in all, got it running, as you can probably tell by the intro, but uh, <laughs> definitely needs a little TLC. 
There's some really wacky do stuff going on with the wiring. Uh, the track all needs a really good cleaning. Try to solve some of the, the challenges running smoothly if I can. Uh, and then, yeah, there's still a lot of scenery and ballasting and stuff to do. I'll probably take a stab at uh, seeing if I can get this running. I'll, I'll be honest, it's uh, probably not going to be my top priority next to my HO. Um, but it's, uh, you know, it's neat to have, and it's nice to have uh, some CP equipment and, um, yeah, it's something a little different. That, and this is a complete layout in a fairly compact space, where my HO scale layout, um, yeah, this rate, it's going to be several years before I can even get the main line finished. So actually, a couple other things I'll mention, too, with this layout. So originally, it actually divided in the middle, if we can see here, right about there. So it was actually going to be modular, was to uh, fit under my bed at one point, uh, and then I, I moved it up and mounted to the wall, making it semi-permanent. Um, I also don't really have a place for it in my current house. Where it's sitting now is, is all fine and dandy, but um, I'm hoping that that's either going to be at some point storage or possibly a second deck to the HO model railroad. So I hope you enjoyed this look at my N-scale layout. Uh, if you did, please hit that thumbs up button, uh, as well as don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get notified when I post a video. Uh, you can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter, as well as there's some other content over at my webpage, tinkeringgeek.com. And until next time, keep tinkering.